Good afternoon. It is a beautiful Sunday, August 20, August 30th, almost to Labor Day. Beautiful weather. I thought I would do my podcast from part of my backyard. So I hope you enjoy the scenery. Um, today I want to talk about <clears throat> worship before warfare. I was reading this morning in the book of the Revelation, chapter 4, and in particular, I was looking at verses 8 and 11. And it says, Day and night, uh, they never stop saying, Holy, holy, holy. Now, the, uh, there is the cherubim, angelic, uh, surrounding the throne. There's 24 elders surrounding the throne of God in this very futuristic um, worship scene. <clears throat> holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. You are worthy, O Lord, <clears throat> our God, to receive glory, honor, and power. For you created all things, and by your will they were created and have their being. John, the apostle, is recording this amazing heavenly worship scene. And as I was reading it, I was reminded and reflected back into the Old Testament. I was thinking particularly the book of Joshua, when Joshua and the people of Israel would go out to battle, they would often, often who would lead them in battle would be the priests. They would uh, bring, they, they would bring the, um, uh, uh, they would come before the Lord and uh, they would bring the Ark of the Covenant and they would worship before battle. And I, that's what I thought of when I read this. And here in the book of Revelation, and by the way, I've seen that uh, at other times too in the Old Testament, whereas the people of God would go out for battle, they would first in, be engaged in worship. And here in Revelation, the stage is getting set for the future, a final battle, you know, uh, Armageddon, uh, the second coming of Christ, you know, the return of the Lord, Armageddon, and then the consummation of the ages. And there's a final battle. And before this, though, there's this great scene of worship. And as I thought about those scenes, Old Testament and now futuristic New Testament, I thought that, you know, that's very practical for you and for me. Before we go on to battle, before we go out into the world to battle, because it's, there's a spiritual battle going on, before we do this, uh, we should have time where we worship and uh, what I do every day, this is, my worship consists of this. I get up in the morning quite early. Jesus did it, says, as was his custom. So I think I'm in good company. And my worship consists of, I have a time of prayer, where I pray, I pray in a prayer language. Uh, and then I have time of intercession, where I pray on behalf of others. And then I read the word. Uh, I listen to Christian music. I have some singing and some meditating, and then I journal. And all of that goes on in the space of about, uh, about an hour. Uh, and then I'm on with my day. And I really feel like that really gets me ready to go out into the world, uh, into the battle, being ready. I put on the armor of God that Ephesians 6 talks about, and I'm ready. And so I want to encourage you. I don't know what your routine is when you get ready to go out for whatever it is you're going to go out into the world. But remember, the Bible says, you know, do not love the world into the things of the world because those who love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So there is a world system out there that is anti-Christ. There's a spiritual battle that needs to be won. Hang on, it's a little noisy out here. <laughs> and, uh, and so I encourage you to have a time. And I think the best time is in the morning. I don't know what your best time is, but find that time where you can pray, where you can intercede for others, where you can be in the Word, where you can have Christian music that saturates your mind and your spirit, thinking and meditating, and that you journal. Because when you journal, when you write down what it is you just read, and, uh, and that's what I encourage people to do, write it down. When you do that, it really goes down into your mind and your heart and your spirit even more. And so my prayer is this today. Thank you, Father, for your word. Holy Spirit, fill me and guide me to daily worshiping you before I go out into the battle for you in Jesus' name. And so I, that's my prayer for you as well. I pray that you will worship 
before you have warfare. Have a great day, a great week coming up, and we'll uh, see you next week.